what better time to show off Odin, my Pacific gopher snake, than the day after he sheds. Hi, pretty boy. Don't be scared. Odin is my very defensive, wild-caught Pacific gopher snake. I don't like saying wild caught, even though he was wild caught. He's a uh, he's a rescue. I rescued I rescued him from a very busy parking lot. He would have surely died that day. I say it all the time when I talk about him, so I'm not gonna go on about it. But uh, look at this shed. It's all tucked up in here, but this is nearly a perfect. Oh, I just ripped it. Oh, perfect shed. Nearly a perfect shed if I wouldn't have ripped it up just now. Alright, throw that away later. For now, let's say hi to Odin. And I'm going to take one for the team here. I'm probably going to get bit. He's very defensive. Um, but I just want to do a video showing him how I handle them, how I deal with the very defensive animal, snake. Um, so, here we go. Hi, Odin. Are you a good boy? And of course, he starts. So this is what I deal with pretty much every time I want to get him out. I'm trying not to uh, restrict his movement too much. So that he doesn't feel threatened. And I go through this almost every time I take him out. And it takes a good 10 minutes of calm, gentle handling for him to realize that I'm not a threat to him. I'm not going to hurt him. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't bitten me yet. I was ready to take a bite on the camera just for uh, to show how I deal with this guy. And I hope he doesn't bite me, but I just, he always does. So, I just like to hold him calm and let him squirm about a little bit until he decides to relax. His body is very stiff right now. Very stiff. And he's, uh... I try not to restrict his movement. That way he doesn't feel. That's why I, I kind of, uh, I don't want to drop him, but I, I kind of uh, let him crawl over my hand instead of like gripping him like I am with my right hand here. That way he, he doesn't feel uh, restricted. But he's a good boy. He's just very defensive. He's very defensive and um, he was born and, and spent probably the first year of his life, you know, in the wild. And uh, like I said, I got him in a parking lot and he would have, uh, he, he would have got crushed if I didn't uh, rescue him. So he was hiding behind a tire of a car. Hi, Odin. It's okay, Papa. It's okay. It's okay. Papa's not gonna hurt you. It's okay. So I got him out of that parking lot, and um, it's okay, Odin. It's okay, Papa. I got him out of that parking lot. And I, I, I made a good home for him. 
set them up in a nice cage. And about a year and a half ago, I got this big, beautiful cage here that you see. Um, <laughs> So I can house a couple other animals. Got my bowl constrictor in there. But you see, this is Odin here. And he's starting to chill out and relax. Finally. His body even seemed a little uh, looser and, and not as stiff. It's still a little stiff, but normally I can't even get nowhere near his face. I can't even like touch the first quarter of his body, but he's a good boy. He's just a little overly defensive. But after some gentle handling, that's all it takes is gentle handling. And um, I have a pair of really thick leather gloves that I wear when uh, when I handle him and he can't bite through these even though he does have a strong bite um, they're just too thick from to bite through so I wear those but um, the last few times uh, actually the last time I, I held him he did bite me but uh, I like to try and, and hold him without wearing the gloves that way he kind of uh, it's not like I'm hiding myself from him, from him, you know, so he could feel my skin and not be scared of it. But man, this guy is getting big with a fresh new shed. And his tail, I don't know if you can see it, his tail, the older he gets, is getting a lot more red. He's just got all these tans and blacks for the most part of his body, but he's getting some red. And his tail as he gets older. I have no idea what the camera is doing right now. If it's focusing properly. When I move forward and back. Hopefully it is. But um. Yeah I just wanted to do a quick little handling video. Of a very defensive snake. And what it, what it takes and what it requires. For them to calm down. And if he's freaking out and going wild, your your animal. If he's freaking out and going wild, you know, and you just put him right back, he's gonna learn. He's gonna learn that that freaking out behavior is going to make you put him back. And you're never gonna be able to calm the temperament of your animal. But if you stick with it. If you stick with it and uh, and hold them and work through all the aggression or defensiveness, the trying to get away. Yeah, look at him. Now he's just resting his head on my hand. Most times, if you see my hand, you just take a bite out of it. But yeah, it, it, it takes trust. And, and you build that trust. And if I held him more often... Um, that trust would probably build up easier. But it just seems like every every time I go in there to, to interact with him, he's always very defensive and scared. And that's my fault for not handling him, interacting with him as much as I should. But, um... That's why I keep them out for a while so I can hold them and, uh, you know, let them smell me, recognize me, let them understand that he has nothing to be scared of. See, I just, I touched the front, the, the first quarter of his body right there and he jerked a little bit. But he's a good boy. You're a good boy, Papa. It's okay. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You don't have to be scared. You're a good boy. 
used to hiss at me so crazy. But uh, he doesn't hiss as much. I'm so happy that I didn't take a bite. Because his bites hurt. And he strikes so hard and fast. That um, it, it startles me. And it makes me jerk away. And I don't like to jerk away. But um, it's just the fact that he strikes so hard and fast that. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's startling no matter what if I'm scared or not but this is my boy and what's gonna happen is when I put him back when I put him back uh, he's gonna probably he's probably gonna go way up here in this corner that's where he always goes when I put him back and he loops himself in the holes of that of that little jungle gym thing that I got him and if, if he's in there there's no way I can take him out He'll wrap around there, he's, and you can't get him out for anything. But um, that's where he's going to go when I put him back. He's going he's gonna to go up there and hide because he's scared. But he's a good boy. He's a good boy. I have no idea if this is focusing right now. Just doing some real amateur phone recording, you know what I mean? But just showing, showing off my gopher snake, my very defensive animal. Handling is always a mission with him, interacting with him. And in the summer months, I'll take him out in the yard and let him crawl around, get some natural sunlight. His, his body is, is really loose right now. I don't know if you can kind of tell through the video, but his body is very loose. It's not super stiff like it was. So we're starting to bond a little bit and, and build up a little trust. He realizes that I'm not going to hurt him. So now he's just moving around, being a good boy. But, uh, yeah, so we won't make this too long. Just showing interactions between a very defensive animal and how to get through it. Because getting through it is can be a pain in the butt. But keeping these animals and interacting with them and feeding them, at least for me, is very rewarding. It's so cool to have an animal with an anatomy and a behavior so different than primates, than felines, canines... Because those are somewhat, somewhat uh, common to understand animals. And when you have an animal as a reptile, that's a little more difficult to understand or not as common. Then um, it's just interesting to, to understand them and interact with them and learn about them. But you're a good boy. And like you probably hear a lot of YouTubers say, when interacting with a difficult animal, it's good to put them back in their enclosure on a good note. And so he's he's being real good right now. So we'll go ahead and cut this short. We'll put him back. And uh, this has definitely been a positive interaction between him and I. But there you go. You ready? You want to hang out with your papa a little bit longer, or you want to go home? You want to go home. I know you do. Go ahead. Go ahead, papa. Go home. Go ahead. There he goes. You're a good boy. He's so cool. <laughs> He's off in this corner over here. He always shoots off to one corner or the other. He likes hiding behind the little fake plant, like I can't see him. But 
Alrighty, that'll be it.